so let's see how this HTML injection work in the websites so first of all I'll simply go with this woodland so it is woodland worldwide website so you can just simply click on this website so this has the HTML injection and it was verified by my friend so I'll just show you so what happens is whenever you just put anything in the search field or a post field and if you just search here and if that is just reflected in the page content so what we had just written in the search was hey and if you see in the left hand side hey has been reflected over here that means it may have the HTML injection so let's see if it has or not so if I just say yes which is obviously the header so I'll just say hey now again and again close this tag which is the HTML tag and let's see if this executes or not so you could see hey has been executed over here that means it has the HTML injection so that means we can now execute any HTML tag attribute in this website so you could see we have just got this link or where we just say hey over here so it is a type of uh, attack so whenever just you reflect any content or when you just manipulate the content so here what we did was we just manipulate the content of the HTML web page so we just change something with the hey you can do anything you can just uh, change here to next you can also make use a paragraph tag and you can say that I am scientist or something like that and close this again the paragraph tag and if I just press go again and you could see it will reflect right over here that means you are just changing the content of this HTML web page so this is the way so first of all you just see that if the change or if the content or anything you just write in the search field is reflected in the web page or not sometimes it will be invisible over here but if you just search for the source page and if you search in this page then you could see that it will be reflected in here in the hidden way so you should see something like that which is reflected in the page that means you have the HTML injection so next thing you could wonder that why it is so useful so you could see that you can use a HRF which is basically the anchor tag so it is very useful because if I just made use of this now so if I just say that something like HTTP and if I just retrieve them to bing.com or any websites and if I just close this now and if I just pass a click and close my anchor tag so anchor tag is basically having this URL so this is the kind of URL redirection so when I just say go you will see it has a click over here so when I just say click it will just redirect to me the bing.com so this is very very dangerous so now we can just copy this link and give it to the new user so we can also make this encoding to this uh, wood URL website so you can just make uh, basically uh, encoding like uh, basically what we say for the hexadecimal encoding of this URL you can also make use of something service like bitly so you can just make use of this in order to shorten the URL so it will just give you the shortened URL and you can simply give that to the user and when the user presses that so it is not working in this case but when the presser okay it is here so when we just click here when the user will click here so it can be made something like instead of click you can just make changes to login and something like this login to Facebook and you can simply put here the URL of the Facebook so you can simply do something like Facebook here and you can give this link and when the user presses you will see that it has the login to Facebook they will say it is legit they can just press this down and they will be redirect to facebook.com so it can be very handy so this is the type of the HTML injection so we should see something like accesses through the HTML injection in the upcoming lecture see you in the next one